Hello everybody, welcome back to Doom 64. This is map 17, watch your step. Alright, fantastic. So I guess a quick update on the recent situation. I have uh, my internet access back again, so that's kind of sweet. I don't have to tether my cell phone and, uh, you know, I actually get decent speeds. It's pretty awesome. Right, so anyway. <laughs> quick update very quick update so what do we got here we got the centerpiece which is kind of I think that's berserk seems a little bit uh, suspect we're gonna save that just in case we need health and uh, I guess this is the only way to go so they're being a little generous and I don't know if I'm a fan of that I mean doom 64 does have teeth Especially when you compare it to the OG. That looks like I can maybe... No. <laughs> I believe that's a Megasphere. Wait. Can I... Hmm. It seems like I should be able to get to it. Yeah, there's a, there's a thing there. Hmm. I can't poke it. I can't saw it. Hmm. These gargoyles don't seem very willing to help me. Man. It's not fair, I tell you. Is there anything that looks vaguely Switch-like? Hmm. Well, maybe not in this room. I should be fine on health, maybe. Fingers crossed. Famous last words. So I guess let's just see what happens. Uh, two paths. Hmm. Here's something grunting. Oh. These fellas. These fine folks. Okay, there's probably someone coming up behind... Huh. You know, I kind of expected there to be more things, like, immediately behind me, I gotta say. Jeez. Maybe that's some of that, like, post-sunlust stress disorder coming in or whatever. Uh... Oh, great, a caco. And based on how my movement was kind of hindered for a second... Yeah, you... Oh, that's a pain elemental back there. You definitely... Oh, that could have been a worse face rocket. But yeah, you definitely can't go under things. Ugh. Which also makes the Lost Souls more of a pain in the ass than they probably should be. Okay. Alright, enough fucking around. Let's do this. You know, the plasma rifle doesn't seem to have any post-fire delay in this one. Which is probably a good thing, let's be real. Why am I using the fucking plasma rifle? Jeez, oh man. What game am I playing here? <laughs> yes. Yes, I know what I'm doing, trust me. See, that's the thing. That's the problem with playing a little bit of, uh... Uh, Antaresian Reliquary is it kind of made me appreciate the plasma rifle more. Uh, I just wasted a bunch of cells. Oh well. Oh fuck. How many of you are there? Alright. Chain gun time. And stun locked and nuked. Cool. What the ass? Okay. Um. Do they have more health or does it just feel like they have more health? I don't know. Oh my goodness. This is a bit of an arena, isn't it? That was actually quite a few enemies for a... More of you? Really? Quite a few enemies for this small of a space. Alright. Okay. Jeez. Well, I can see what kind of map this is going to be. Alright, so I can't go up there. That's still sealed off. Uh, that's still bothering me. It really looks like I should be able to just kind of do alley-oop, but, uh, yeah, no. Not so much. That's still closed. Hmm. I don't know. What about these? Just poke them and run and see what happens now. Because they seem to like using that as kind of a switch texture, like a semi-unofficial switch texture. Uh, I should have probably just grabbed that berserk, but oh well. 
We've got stim packs. Beautiful. Right, so that's still... Oh, that's where the exit is. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're just going back this way. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, I probably missed something. I just kind of... <laughs> I just kind of looped around and that was it. Oh, you could just use that. All right. Yes. <laughs> well, it's worth a shot. Oh, hello there. Oh, imps. More imps. Alright, this is, uh... This is better than pain elementals, that's for sure. Although there's probably as many pain elementals as there are imps in this arena. Because, you know, reasons. <sighs> so what are you... Well, actually, first of all... Okay, so that just... Yeah. That's a teleporter. Hmm. I gotta say, I'm not super crazy about the teleport textures they use. They seem a bit, maybe, arbitrary. I also hear a platform... Oh, okay. I'll piss off, assholes. Really? Just gonna waste my time like that? You jerks. Okay, you can just poke that. Okay, I was gonna say. Uh, so it's not... Oh, jeez. I guess this is just a whole bunch of teleporters. Maybe that's what they mean by watch your step. What? Oh, uh, okay. Jeez. You know, pretty sure this map has more uh, more pain elementals than the entirety of Doom 2. Hmm, that might be an interesting thing to look up. <sighs> yeah, screw it, I'm too lazy. Right, so did that do anything with these... No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... I'm assuming I probably have to do something a little different with those teleporters. Let me in. Let me up. And, uh... Sure, let's just go in on a different side, I guess. No, that's the same thing. Hmm. Alright. I don't suppose that's an actual... Uh, what if I go back into this? Is that a door? No, it's not. Okay. Alright. So hold up. I hear a... I hear a lift. Is that just right in front of me? Yeah, it is. Alright. <sighs> hmm. How curious. wonder if anything opened up back in the starting area. I don't know, I don't... Just had to check that, <laughs> that one little thing. Okay. Yeah, so it, it did. Kinda. Jeez. Super shotgun. Always super satisfying. Alright, so, uh... Bit of a... Fight populated by some sort of macro, I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't know. It gets the job done, I suppose. That's still closed. Give me rockets. I, th I don't think those were there before, so I'm assuming they just probably spawned in. That's a lot of them. Alright. Let's just go ahead and use these. That way I don't run out of shells. And now I'm definitely going to use these. <laughs> Next step is probably barons. Let's be real here. Uh, okay. It really feels like the uh, Hell Knights take more rockets in Doom 64. I don't know. Those are tubbies. And spiders. Good. Yeah, that's what I mean when I say Doom 64 is teeth, because, uh... It's funny that it was a console exclusive, because, I mean... It is definitely harder than the OG. I don't think there's any denying that. And, yeah, uh... The whole macro system allows it to just kind of do really tricky things that the original couldn't, well, really couldn't do until Boom came out. And let's be real, the way Boom does things is uh, a kind of janky. Because uh, if you guys aren't aware, what you essentially have to do 
is... Oh, well, thank you. What you essentially have to do with Boom is, uh... Those are Cyber Demons. Alright, well, good thing we have this. I wonder if we could still two-shot them. They, ro they walk really slowly. But yeah, with Boom, you actually have to use a conveyor belt. It it's really wonky. Like, you have to... To do all those fancy triggers... Oh, jeez, this timing is gonna fuck me up. Let's grab this. Oh, that feels so... This feels so wrong. This feels cursed. <laughs> okay. So you need to use player clones on conveyor belts to activate line deaths. As if they were, like, the main player. It's... I don't know. It's fine. It gets the... Oop, didn't recognize the death animation. It's fine. It gets the job done. But at the same time... It's kind of... I don't know. It's a little wonky. Mostly because every time you place a new player clone, you essentially have to, uh... Um... Kind of... Shuffle things around, that way the, uh, standard player doesn't get... Um... You don't end up starting where one of the clones should start. It, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's easier to show off, I guess. Probably doesn't help that I was fighting a couple cyber demons with really weird rocket patterns. Another thing I noticed... Uh, did you see how the rockets were actually kind of aiming slightly down? Yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. So, the rockets seem to have a higher origin point in this one, and they kind of aim towards the ground. So, like, if you're... Oh, this doesn't... Oh, what the fuck? I... <sighs> Mark your exits better! Good lord! Oh, well, we should be fine. Okay, but yeah, as I was saying, the cyber demons kind of aim towards the ground, so if you're far enough away, you'll take splash damage from the floor rocket. That's, uh, that's pretty wild, I gotta say. That's gonna take some time to get used to, because normally the arrows just fire in a straight line. Okay, well that was Watch Your Step. It was a pretty solid map. Uh, I'm not crazy about the way it ended, though. Uh, I mean, it was labeled as an exit, but... I didn't think the switch would exit the map. Whatever. I don't know. It's not a big deal. But, uh... Yeah, I guess that's that's it for this one. <laughs> kind of an abrupt end, but, you know, what you gonna do? Alright, well. That was Watch Your Step. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.